Hi, welcome to the next tutorial on setting up and using WordPress for your SLCC ePortfolio. In the last tutorial you learned how to sign up for the WordPress free weblog and to pick a theme for your site. And in this tutorial we'll set up the required outline for the SLCC ePortfolio. And you can find a description of this outline in the ePortfolio student handbook. Before we start on the outline though, I want to show you how to change the main header picture to one of your choice. And remember you can do that if you picked a theme that had what was called a custom header. And so we're going to change the picture here where my uh, cursor is. Um, so for this tutorial, and, and that's both with the header picture change and also the setting up the outline, we're going to be using the My Dashboard page. So go ahead and click on that. So to change the header, you're going to go back into that Appearance button down here. So click on that, and that takes you to the Manage Themes. But if you look over here, you can also uh, manage your custom header. So click on Custom Header, and that will give you a choice to uh, upload a picture of your choice. So let's go to Browse, and I want the white sand sunset and upload and only a little of it will show so I'm gonna bring it down to there okay and now I can go back and vit into visit site and check I actually like to do that a lot I like to look and see what it looks like uh, each thing I add so visit site and now that's what the custom header looks like. So, great. Now we can go ahead and work on the SLCC outline. So to do that, let's go ahead and go back into my dashboard. And this time we're going to be creating new pages. So if you see down here, there's a, a button here for pages. So click on that and you'll be given a choice to add a new page. Okay. Before I do that, let me just say a little bit about the difference between a page and a post. Because uh, sometimes that um, gets a little bit confusing in sites like this. So this is a weblog site. So that means you can, um, you know, every day you can go in and create a new post. And you just go up here and you click New Post. And then you start writing whatever you know you want to say in your blog and you you know title it and then type 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 and then publish okay so every day you'll just you could do that you know you could make a new post a new blog post every day and it would show up in the main page of your site which I'll actually show you in more detail later the pages though are a little bit different the pages are sort of the main sections of your website they're the categories of your website and so that's what we want to create when we're making the outline for the SLCC ePortfolio so let's go ahead and go back into pages and we're gonna add a new page and the outline requires a number of different pages, and I'm going to create them all as we're uh, doing this tutorial here. First of all, we'll need a welcome page. So, and I'm so that's my, the title of my new page, and I'm just going to push publish. Now, like I said, I like to visit the site and see what things look like. So, if I visit the site now. Notice that now I have a tab here that says welcome. That's what it means to create a new page. I now have a whole new section of my uh, ePortfolio, of my blog site. So let's go ahead and make another one. Go back into my dashboard. Go into pages. Add a new page. and we'll need a page called My Goals. And we'll publish that one. We'll make a new, another new page. 
called General Education. And we'll publish that one. We'll make another new page. which we're going to call Learning Outside oops, the Learning Outside the Classroom and one more and that one is going to be called resume. Okay, now that we've created all of these pages and notice that after each one I pushed I clicked publish, okay? So now we can go back to the site and we'll see that now they're all up here on this tab. And you can click into each one and they're going to be their own um their own section, their own page, and you can write, um, you know, you can create them each page as you wish. And so now you have your SLCC outline for the ePortfolio. Um, in the next one, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to set up a page, and in particular, we'll go ahead and look at the welcome page.